Actor Tom Cruise has come a long way from his childhood when he lived between Syracuse, New York and Canada. After his first major acting gig in Risky Business, he launched into Hollywood stardom and once his career was established, Tom started snagging luxury real estate in Los Angeles and abroad. His former properties range from a remote Colorado ranch to an estate in London, England, but where can we find the global star these days? Most recently, Tom can be found in a plush multi-million dollar penthouse a few blocks away from the Church of Scientology headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tom Cruise is an A-list actor, not to mention one of the highest paid in the world. His movies have grossed over $4 billion in North America and over $10 billion worldwide, not to mention he's amassed a net worth of $600 million. While Tom has lived in stunning mansions across the globe, these days, well, he's settled close to the Scientology headquarters in Florida, which shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out the homes of Tom Cruise. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're kind of close, so if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, you can hit me up over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. It seems that back in 2016, Tom completed a real life Mission Impossible, finally selling his mega mansion in Beverly Hills for a whopping $40 million. His large estate was situated in over an acre of land in the posh celebrity coveted neighborhood and inside it spans over 10,200 square feet of space. Mr. Cruz and his third ex-wife Katie Holmes snagged the spread in 2006 for just over $30 million and the large mansion had multi wings throughout with 7 bedrooms, 9 bathrooms and a laundry list full of other amenities. The exterior of the abode was made of grey stone and the home was built in 1937 located right off of Coldwater Canyon Drive. While the home was traditional, it had since been upgraded and renovated to offer all the modern amenities one would need. The grounds around Tom's former Beverly Hills home boasted everything from a tennis court to a large swimming pool and spa, an equally large fountain and a playground for the children. There was also a lighted tennis court with basketball hoops and a couple of guest houses on the property to accommodate family or staff. Aside from this crib, Tom hoisted his massive Rocky Mountain estate onto the market and finally sold it in May 2021 for $39.5 million. While he previously wanted to sell the place for 59 mil back in 2014, he never publicly listed it because maybe he wasn't quite ready to part with the stunning spread. Tom purchased this property back in 1994 and spent a handful of years and money building a custom retreat, which consists of a cabin style mansion, spanning over 9,800 square feet and a three bedroom guest house, all within 320 acres of sprawling land. Tom's Colorado property served as the setting for the actor's 2008 Oprah interview and where he and Katie Holmes shared the first photos of daughter Surrey in 2006. The property is surrounded on three sides by national forest land, but it isn't completely remote since it's only about seven miles from the heart of Telluride. It's protected by gated entrance and to get to the Cedar and Stone Mansion, you must travel up a mile long driveway lined with aspen trees. It's also worth mentioning that Tom had a helipad on the grounds just in case one wanted to fly right in instead of drive. Inside the mansion, it boasted 7 beds, 9 baths and warm charming interiors with a rustic vibe. The living room features beamed ceilings with cedar timbers, French windows that show off the tall mountain peaks and a large stone fireplace. Elsewhere, there's another fireplace making for some cozy nights here, especially in the colder months. The large dining and formal rooms make Tom's estate perfect for entertaining and hosting guests. Not to mention, the kitchen is also decked out in wood to match the rest of the home, while the luxury appliances here include three refrigerators. Other highlights inside this mansion include cozy nooks like a library and elsewhere a games room with pool table and fully equipped gym. If that's not enough, there's also an office for when you want to work from home and a spa for when it's finally time to relax. The main attraction of this mansion in the woods is certainly the surrounding outdoors. 
While Tom's property had traditional features like a sports court, there were also a ton of trails for hiking, snowmobiling, and more, some of which connect to the other public trails too. Tom's most recent home seems to be his penthouse in Clearwater, Florida. Located on the top two floors of a 10-story condominium, the actor left the glitz and glamour of Hollywood behind to move right beside the Scientology International Headquarters. In 2018, it was reported that Tom was renovating this penthouse, which was a new development at the time, built by one of the world's richest Scientologists, Moises Agami. Tom's sweet penthouse comes with features like a $500,000 private swimming pool and pool garden, million dollar movie theater, no joke, a wraparound terrace overlooking the city, and a brand new gym. The Skyview building is actually the largest and tallest building in Clearwater, so we know it's gotta be something special. Tom's unit spans a reported 1,253 square feet of space with two beds and two baths, and offers a contemporary and chic design throughout. More recently, it was said that Tom installed 100 spy and infrared cameras around the two-level penthouse, turning it into a fortress, which makes sense for the security-conscious star. The Top Gun actor even destroyed his luxury 39-foot infinity pool, hot tub and outdoor bar by covering it with a surrounding wall and roof, while the windows, well, they're hidden with a white film. We do know that interiors of Tom's unit boast an open plan layout with bright marble kitchen and other sun-filled common rooms. There's also reportedly a man cave and a games room, all of which Tom keeps tightly under wraps. When the place was under construction, a local bar owner was able to take a live video of the building around Tom's unit. It looked even more impressive from what we could see. It was full of skylights, high ceilings, and walls of glass to take in the stunning views of the water and city below. Not to mention, Tom's penthouse boasts a secret passageway leading to a smaller condo on the second floor, which Tom also owns. Here, he stashes a flight simulator, the impressive home gym, and an office. Elsewhere, he also has a nine-car parking garage with private car elevator. While Tom stays on the down low, some locals have claimed to see him here and there, even after all of his crazy security add-ons. One local said, I can see shadows in his apartment. Before this, I didn't see anything. Now there's major activity. There's definitely movement. People have also seen him in town with his minion. Very interesting. Tom is only two blocks from the Scientology headquarters, so we can bet he's staying busy. It's also rumored that he owns three further units in this building for family members, including for his children that he shares with ex Nicole Kidman, while his sisters also have apartments here. Well, now we've taken a look at a few of Tom Cruise's properties, past and present, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. Out of those three homes, which was the most your style? His former Grand Beverly Hills mansion, his Colorado ranch in the Snowy Mountains, or his current modern Florida penthouse? I'm gonna go with the Colorado home myself. I love the natural and rustic vibes, and honestly, I also like the mountain. I think getting a full glimpse of Tom's current home is a mission impossible, but We've seen a little bit and have some of the details, so you get the idea. I think the most important takeaway is that he ditched Hollywood to live full-time near the home of Scientology. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Tom's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!